stage I want to express the sincere hope, the sincere hope that our national parliament has not made itself guilty of distributing fake news in order to damage President Zuma. Yes. We sincerely hope that is not the case. I have requested the attorneys of President Zuma to investigate this matter and later today they will issue a comprehensive and clarifying statement. Right, so for a little bit more on this, so we're now joined in studio by our reporter, uh, Mangoban Pukunu. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of people were watching this with great interest, um, wondering what would come out of it. And uh, Carl Niehaus read quite a, um, I won't say stinging, but hard-hitting statement. Indeed, Pete. And I mean, I have the statement right mm. here. It's a long statement by those uh, a group that calls itself the Radical Economic Transformation. President Jacob Zuma supporters. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're saying that they're rallying behind the former president and they believe that he's being vilified by the courts and they say, they're insisting that, of course, that uh, it's all part of a bigger political mm -hmm. agenda. A political agenda, they say, goes back to 20 years when he was brought before the courts on these corruption charges. So they're saying that they're steadfast in the unwavering support of former President Jacob Zuma and they do believe that mm -hmm. uh, this is still a continuation of that plot to target Zuma and vilify him. All right, so a couple of things struck me when I saw the, these images. A, that we have these people wearing A and C colors. Mm. And I just wonder, is this sanctioned by the party? Is this um, just a group of people who happen to be the ANC? But he did say that there were supporters, particularly from the MKMVA, MK that were behind this statement. Well, what we do know, Peter, is that you know this comprises of various uh, leagues of the ANC. Mm. So we've seen the, AK, the MKMVA being part of this as early as when we saw former President Jacob Zuma appearing outside the State Capture Commission. And they've been supporting and rallying behind the former president. In fact, they say that this group started after uh, the NASREC uh, conference that took place where ultimately uh, President Zuma uh, or President Ramaphosa uh, was uh, you know, elected in that conference. So it has been a group that has been started since there and it's sympathetic and is a pro uh, Jacob Zuma group that says that it's in support of President Jacob mm. Zuma. Interestingly uh, the ruling party itself has not uh, you know quite given the go-ahead for this but it is its leagues and some of its members that are forming this uh, sort of uh, sort of a splinter mm. if you could look at it in that way or a separate entity in support of former President Jacob Zuma. So they're saying that they are ANC members in good standing, but they just feel that uh, the party itself is turning a blind eye to the president. And that's why they want to bring this issue of former President Jacob Zuma. They're even planning a march to go to Lutilio House to say that they must stop uh, you know, turning a blind eye to the vilification of Jacob Zuma. Just yesterday, um, Justice Minister Lamola spoke about attacks against the judiciary and I would sh I'm sure that this is going to be difficult to, for the party to manage because you have a party deployee in the minister saying one thing and now you hear um, Carl Niehaus saying something else. Well, certainly, that was the sentiment. I mean, yeah. we even posed a question, I asked a question whether they were implying that, uh, you know, through the uh, attack, which uh, was, uh, you know, from the beginning of the press briefing, they had, in fact, a long section where they spoke against uh, that decision by the Peter Maritzburg High Court uh, to issue a warrant of arrest against the former president, saying that the judge herself, you know, she had uh, sort of played or brought this issue into a political arena, and even implying that, you know, she had dragged the country into a constitutional crisis mm -hmm. and even saying that, you know, they simply had placed the, the rule of law at risk. So the implication that they seem to have been saying at that is that, you know, the judiciary itself is captured. And I mean, in many words, they did say, they did allude to that fact, you know, through some of their speakers who did insinuate that the, judici the judiciary is captured. So I think it's uh, a very difficult place uh, that the ruling party mm -hmm. finds itself in with these utterances. I mean, uh, the expectation, of course, is that, you know, from society as well, is that the rule of law is not compromised in any way. So it will find itself in a difficult position, having had mm. some of its members uh, publicly denouncing and uh, publicly saying that or insinuating the fact that uh, it's captured. So we have seen in uh, the last few court, uh, uh, I won't say appearances, but uh, court sessions, 
that uh, the supporters outside and inside, the numbers were dwindling. But it seems as if this is a call to action and that uh, in saying enough is enough, uh, there's is almost a battle cry that's being called by Karl Niehaus and his grouping. And of course, uh, Peter, you're correct in saying yeah. that. I mean, those are some of the slogans we're chanting there. I mean, they were singing songs to say Zuma is ours, uh, we are Zuma. So mm. the support and clearly they are mobilizing, they say, they put it for Jacob Zuma. And they say that come May the 6th, they want to see thousands of people outside court. Of course, they say that in any other uh, appearance that Jacob Zuma makes, they will be there. Mm -hmm. And also, taking it a bit further, Peter, saying that they also want to march to Lutuli House to raise this issue uh, of uh, Jacob Zuma being vilified, and also they want to take it as far as the NPA, who they say has also been involved, so in this political ploy yeah. that they say has been targeting Jacob Zuma. So, they're really calling for mass support, uh, and they're saying that, you know, other provinces as well, including uh, Free State, mm -hmm. might also follow suit. All right, so he said a lot of things, but uh, I was waiting, and perhaps I missed it, in terms of offering tangible evidence for some of the things that he said was happening. Well, of course, they didn't give any evidence mm. here, uh, Peter. They just spoke. Uh, I mean, one question, for example, the mm. stance that they had on um, Judge Adair uh, uh, Pillay, uh, on the fact that, you know, that, I mean, very many words mm. uh, to attack her, uh, and the decision that she had taken, saying that she was somehow also part of this political ploy, involved in this political ploy. So, but no evidence was given. Of course, we do know that uh, there were certain questions raised by Judge Pillay herself on the sick notice that was uh, advanced by the former president. But they didn't take all of that into mm -hmm. consideration. They were saying that this is simply uh, an orchestrated attempt by some, and especially they believe white monopoly capital, they say, to try and vilify the president mm -hmm. because they say Jacob Zuma is the father of radical economic transformation and he's been the one who's been pushing yeah. for that. And so that they're saying this is the reason the party. why he's being vilified. And also pointing fingers at certain comrades within the party. Indeed. And they're saying that we do know that there are some comrades in the party who have been tainted and have mm. been stooges of white monopoly capital have been used by white monopoly capital to carry out their instructions, to carry out their interest here. So they're saying that all of this is all an attempt just to deal and vilify mm. Jacob Zoom. Has there been a response from the ANC? Pule Mabu was named. Well, there hasn't been any response formally that we've received from the ANC, but uh, yeah, on the issue of uh, mm. the former president uh, not attending, uh, we do know that uh, the Jacob Zuma Foundation has responded on that. All right, Mangoba, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much indeed. I have a f I no doubt that this story is going to gain some momentum over the coming days. All right, we'll leave that there for the time being.